Learn what are anonymous objects and what is the dynamic keyword in C Sharp. So these, these are quite used in entity framework and let us first of all clear this concept. First we'll talk about anonymous types. Suppose we have a class X and it has certain property like public string name and uh, followed by your get and set. This class has a name. Its name is X. It is known at design time. It is known to the compiler. It is known to the developer also. So uh, here uh, before I tackle this, I'll just come to one more trifurcation. Let me draw that first. One try one is one participant is the developer. The second participant is the compiler, and the third participant is the runtime. If a class may be known to the developer. If a developer knows the class, then compiler will know and runtime will also know. Such classes are called named classes. For example, you wrote that class, class X. This class is defined somewhere in your project. It has been given a name. It has been created by the developer. It has been given a name. This name is called X. It is known to the developer. He can use its properties through IntelliSense. When the code is being compiled, compiler also knows this X because it has been passed to the compiler by the developer. And when the project is running, then runtime also knows it because compiler has compiled it for the runtime. There is no confusion for this X, which is a named class. There can be certain classes which are known to the compiler but not to the developer. Compiler gives its own name to it. So as far as the developer is concerned, such classes are called anonymous classes. Coming to an example, suppose your project needs a class at 20 places. Then a developer better creates a class with the name X and conveniently uses this X at 20 places. But sometimes what happens is that you do not need to use a class even outside the same function. Suppose I have a function and inside it I am creating an object of a class and using its properties but at no other place in the project this class name is required. So why, wh what is the fun of creating this class X somewhere in your project if it is only meant for this function? This class X, if it is not to be used at more than one place, then there is no point in creating this name. So in such cases where you use a class for one place or two places, then uh, rather I would say for one place only, then you better don't name it, don't create in your solution explorer. Just command the compiler to create it anonymously. That is it should give its, give its name itself. When a developer instead of creating a class himself authorizes the compiler to give it a name then such a class is called anonymous. So uh, let us now see the come to the diagram developer, compiler and runtime. So this means developer won't know its name. A developer doesn't give any name. So developer doesn't know its name, but compiler can give its name so it knows it. 
and similarly since